Researchers from Museums Victoria say they've discovered a new species of ancient whale. The 26 million year old fossil was discovered on Victoria's surf coast by a local resident in 2019, but scientists have only recently been able to classify it. Rory Duncan is from Museums Victoria and is the lead author of the study, and he joins us now. Good afternoon, Rory. Hi. Uh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. So tell us uh, about this whale. What's its name? What's it called? And what did it look like? Sure. Uh, so this new whale is a new species we call Jangacetus delardi. It's the first to be named from Australia in 20 years. Uh, and it's part of a group we call the toothed baleen whales. So toothed baleen whales are the ancestors and relatives of things like humpback whales and blue whales, which you'll see off the coast of Australia today. But while they are the largest animals have ever lived, these animals would have looked very, very different. You would have had, they've had really very short snouts, very, very large eyes, and would have been very, very small. This specimen in particular would actually have been really small. It's uh, probably only about two meters long when it died. So what does this uh, discovery then tell us about the evolution of whales, Rui? Yeah, uh, well, one of the really cool things about this specimen, as well as being a new species, is that uh, it also was not fully grown when it died. So this is the first immature tooth baleen whale from Australia. Uh, so it can tell us some stuff about how these animals would have changed as they grew. Uh, we know that some other uh, tooth baleen whales from here in Australia had these really large eye sockets as well. And we can tell by, the, uh, by have, looking at one of these younger individuals here that that actually may have been something they retained from, uh, from being juveniles all the way to adults. Um, and it also tells us what the teeth would have looked like when they had very little wear as well, because uh, like us, they only get one full set of adult teeth and they tend to wear them as the animals get older. So this fossil was found by local residents. It was really lucky that that person mm -hmm. recognized what they'd found uh, and brought it to you. A hundred percent. So much of the paleontology that we get to do here in Victoria is because of the tireless work of uh, hundreds of volunteers that collect fossils all along the particular shores of Victoria. Um, it's the same for dinosaur paleontology as it is for whale paleontology. In this case, it was a local principal, Ross Dullard, who was walking along the shores in 2019 and just saw a little bit of this fossil protruding out of the wall and was in the right place at the right time to be able to collect it and was kind enough to donate it to Museums Victoria so that it gets to be all of our fossil now. <laughs> and it was found on Victoria's surf coast. Is that a, a well-known spot for finding fossils? Absolutely. Um, so all the tooth baleen whales that we've found in Australia, with a few exceptions, have come from Victoria's surf, surf coast. Um, again, this is only the third species. Um, we've been collecting there for almost 100 years. The first specimen was found in the late 1930s. Um, so they are exceptionally rare, but ev ev every so if you go down there, you'll find little pieces of teeth, little bits of ear bones, but it's very, very rare that you find near complete skulls or partial skulls like this specimen, which makes it so interesting wow. to us. So are you working on uh, some fossils from that area now to identify them, uh, work out what they are, where they came from? Yeah, um, so this is uh, part of my uh, PhD project. Uh, so the intent is to continue working on things from here in Jiangjuk and other sites from around the Pacific. But what's really interesting is that this animal is well constrained in what we call geologic time. We know it was about 25 to 26 million years ago. But we think this group, these Maladontas, these weird, seemingly Australian, New Zealand only short snouted whales, are only found. Um, have this long evolutionary history that may go mm. back millions of years further. So we're always looking to expand that fossil record and to find stuff that's even older that tells us about the very earliest evolutionary history of this group.